welcome to another episode of Stinman Stitches. I'm your yarn host, Jennifer, and this is your yarn kid, Lucas. You stole my lines, man. <laughs> I didn't expect you to take the whole lead. All right, so little man wanted to be in the video today. Um, really what we're doing is I told you guys that this mess right here, we're trying to, um, the goal is to use up enough yarn to empty that bucket however because i'm using yarn off of my shelves as well i have holes so i'm trying to rearrange and re i'm trying to rearrange what's in the box put things on the shelves where they belong um move stuff around because there's like i said there's holes and so little man wanted to be in the video so that means he has to help me haha uh -huh. all right Stand up. All right, so what I'm doing is, step to the side, please. Right there, can you pick up that hat that's on the floor? I'm, I'm trying to rearrange the rainbow a little bit. I'm just gonna move you guys this way. Um, my rainbow, I'm kind of wanting like, um, not such long, um, skeins here because I have long skeins here and I have long skeins over there so I'm kind of just rearranging things so that's it makes more sense where they're at so that I know where they're at and if I have more room here I can with if because these are shorter skeins I can put stuff in front of it and decorate it and it's pretty like th these things here <laughs> my my stitch and my bougie boo and I know that I have more than one of these and then my beautiful koi goo yarns so that's what we're doing what are you doing oh look that i bet that's a match right there i just broke something you think you broke the box i probably did yeah i think those are the same yarn <laughs> so that that makes more sense and then I'm gonna adjust everything down a little bit and then we check in the box. Here, can you put this over there because it's getting in the way. It goes on that bottom shelf right there. Which bottom shelf? <sighs> that perfume smells really strong that we sprayed. <sighs> My closet from the In The Closet series has a ton of makes and stuff in it. It is jam packed right now. Baby, right here. See that space? Put it upright. They're perfect. Um, my niece has a blanket that she keeps here, and it smells like dog. <laughs> and instead of putting it in the wash, she threw it in the closet. So now the whole closet smells like dog. And I can still smell it on my clothes. <laughs> so I took that out, and I sprayed <laughs> perfume in there because I can't find the Febreze. And I left the closet open trying to air that out. But what's probably going to happen is I'm going to have to take everything out of there and clean out that dreaded closet. Are you going to help me clean the closet? Yeah. You stop making faces. You're so weird. All right. So, yeah. I'm always mm -hmm. feeling overwhelmed. I don't think I have any. I got these green. These have seen better days. I need to cake these up. <laughs> Lucas, please don't belch on screen. So, does this look yellow to you or does what color is this? That is gold. Do you think it should go in the yellow section? Because we have gold here. Yeah, put it in I gold. I had two of these. Do you see another one of these? Two. Um, pause the video really quick. I'm not pausing the video. The pause yeah, button. I don't think that's too small. No pause button. Just leave it. I don't think this video is going to make it to the internet. I'm going to apologize in advance. I don't know how much of that video with little man you're gonna see because I personally am feeling frazzled. It is not him. He didn't do anything wrong. He feels now he feels like he did something wrong because I asked him to leave the room because I cannot put words together. <laughs> I am feeling highly overstimulated today and I'm trying to think and do and I just <laughs> he had a doctor's appointment today. I'm running incredibly late on this video. I've been thinking about this video all week. I've been wanting to come in here and do things with this yarn. 
and show you guys and I'm just struggling because my mind is everywhere else. Doctor's appointment was fine. Um, little man has gained almost 10 pounds, which if any of you have been following the, the saga with him and his medicine, um, his medicine makes him not hungry. He lost a lot of weight. He went from a size 16 to a size 10, 12 in little boy pants. And <laughs> he's back gaining weight again. And I'm so happy about that. Um, so there's other things regarding his appointment, but it was all positive and I love his doctor so much. So that's not what's concerning me. It's just, it's life. It's just life. So doing this and actually not having him in here is something I find calming and relaxing. So that's why we're doing this together because I thought I would share some of the process, the progress, the thoughts that's going behind what I'm doing. So when I showed you guys in yesterday's PL video, I showed you guys the spun colors and in doing so, I pulled some of the spun colors out of this bucket, but that left room in the bucket. And so I'm coming through. I'm rearranging things. So if you guys look right here, um, I'm moving around the rainbow a little bit. I really need to straighten up. Some of these cakes are partially used. And so the strings are coming out and it looks atrocious. But I don't have enough sense to be embarrassed about it. So I'm just going to tuck everything in and make it look nice and neat. This hot pink doesn't really belong in here. It goes over there with the neons. Which I know doesn't make sense, but I have... <laughs> I have neons everywhere. Alright, so now I have room for blue. There's an odd man out green. We'll just put that like that. I have room for blue in here, but I don't really have... I don't have blue skeins. So, I'm just trying to move stuff around because I hate that there's a hole there you know what I do have blue <laughs> it's up high and if we bring the blue down I have let me so you're not looking at my there there's blue up here there's lots of blue up here these are from Hobie they are the Cotton King you know there's so much blue I have so much blue. I have Heartland blue. This is really beautiful. I love Heartland. I have the jeans. I got some old retired yarn from Premier Yarn. I have the Everyday Medley, which is gorgeous. All right, so now I can bring the blues down and put them where the blues go. I don't know how many of these are actually gonna fit, but I'm gonna make it work. This color is gorgeous. I was just talking about this color last week. How in love, in love with blue I am. I've never been a blue fan because, real talk. <laughs> Story time. My older sister loved blue and she kind of like, she was the beloved child, so she kind of took blue and made it hers. And just because of that, I hated blue. So I rejected blue in my soul because of her. But now I'm coming into my own and I'm like, blue is beautiful. And I'm starting to gain a love for blue. And I love anything that looks like a pair of blue jeans. P.S. I have blue jeans on for the first time this season. <laughs> I have not wore full on blue jeans since I want to say February. <laughs> it's been shorts and like stretchy pants and like comfortable clothes since then. And um, yeah, I actually have on blue jeans today, full on jean pants. So these might have to go back up because I'm out of room. So we have purple. Let me show you. We have purple. Let me shine a light. Let me shine a light. I know I don't have any light over here in this dark corner. My light is over there. I'll give you guys a little so you can see what I'm talking about. 
flashlight. Okay, so that helps. Pull you guys in close. We have this is purple, blue, green, yellows, orange. We are not over that far. And then red. So I have like the full rainbow there kind of. So that's I like I like keeping that nice and neat. That actually helps. So now I have room on the top shelf. So I might have to crank you guys up. Daddy will take care of it, Juju. There we go. Now we can work up here. There's so much room up here, and I know you guys can't really see how much room is up here. My tripod is as high as it goes. Um, yeah, we have lots of blue up here. <laughs> There's lots of Premier yarn up here. We have rainbows up here. got another hot pink up there and I could probably go over here with this hot pink because over here we have this is my super saver neons and a couple of premier yarns this is just a milk crate turned on its side And this again, the strings are hanging out because some of these are partially used. You hear a little man yelling outside, his friend is home. Because he had his doctor's appointment today, he um, got off of school early. Well, there we go. I actually have room for one more skein in there. I don't know what I'm going to put in there though. We'll just leave it for now we'll come back to this shelf and we got room in there and the reason I'm doing this is because the goal is and I, I said this and I don't know if I'm gonna clip that part out the goal is to get the yarn more reasonable and put away because that extra bucket was just taking up extra room and because I'm using yarn off of the shelf, it's clearing up room for me to put yarn away, which is totally my goal. So, use it or not, out of the bucket, it's still coming out of the bucket. <laughs> That's my theory anyway. And I'm sticking to it, dang it. All right. Oh, there's the other gold. All right. See, I knew I had a gold in here. I was showing little man. I was sent this. In European Happy Mail, and I knew that I had two of them. They're very beautiful, and then I have this gold. So I don't want the gold in with the yellow necessarily. I kind of want to put this with my Christmas yarn, which is in the closet. I pulled out all the Christmas yarn last year because I had plans, and then those plans kind of fell apart because I ran out of time. <laughs> so this is going to go in with that because this will make a beautiful either Christmas shawl or a New Year's shawl. Not that we go anywhere, but you know, that actually makes a difference. And I have this brown. And I know I have some over here. I'll tilt you guys back down again. I'm sorry if we keep moving. I have. I actually do for the first time. I'm going to lower you. <laughs> We're lowering. I'm cranking you down. I have I have brown in here I have several of these they weren't in a giveaway but the person never claimed the prize which happens to me every time I have it and some of the yarn from Dollar Tree so I have I have like five skeins of different kinds of brown and this shelf over here what did I do with my phone? Let's see if I can shine some light on this for you guys. Um, this shelf over here has um, these yarns over here 
are yarns from Furls. And then there's some yarns from Hobby Lobby Clearance. So these are all like the shorter skeins. And I can fit a ton in there. And then, I don't know if you guys can see Annie's little feet right there. And then my little pumpkin girl that was sent to me in Happy Mail. And my Dante dog is right there. <laughs> so, yeah. And then up here is longer skeins. So like, um, I love this yarn. Is up here, as you can see. <laughs> And um, I have a ton, a ton of the Dazzle yarn that was clearanced out from Hobby Lobby. And then these are, uh, I think there's a Red Heart, not a Red Heart Super Saver. The AC Moore version of the Monet color of Red Heart Super Saver. So it's not quite as rough as Red Heart Super Saver was. Um, and then, yeah. And I think up there, that up there is all baby yarn. It's all like thick baby yarn. So, yeah. Now, I forgot to put my cakes back up there. My king cakes. So I guess we gotta go back up again, you guys. I know that I haven't really been showing like yarn porn videos. Because I've been so focused on working on... Not buying, but trying to use up what I have. Trying to be responsible. And so, I've been doing a really good job with that. But this still is showing you guys yarns like maybe you haven't seen before. It's so weird because it's backwards in the screen. So I was like, wait a minute, the, the there's not purple there. <laughs> so, I think we have room for a couple more. And I'm putting these up there because these are more spring colors. These are the the Cherub DK. I'm putting these up there because they're more spring colors. And I will probably visit those again in the springtime because right now I'm focusing on like winter darker colors or thicker yards. So there. My B can go back up there. There. That actually has made me some progress. And that has helped me <sighs> lower you guys again. <laughs> Crank it down. And as you can see behind me, there are, this is a box of fabric. And below that is my, my P.O. box. And then below that is yarns that are in a multiples of three or four or more that I had had intentions of making specific projects out of and then because they're down there at the bottom I forget what I pulled them out for and it's a whole thing I did not realize I had another whole one of these cakes I thought I used the last of this yarn up so that's gonna go over here because there's an empty bucket underneath you got one well, on empty there's a bucket with room in it so I'm gonna put some of the yarn in there um I think I'm going to put the gold in there and then I'm going to put this bucket back up. And then, yep, that bucket is now full. However, look, this is what's left of the bucket. I have three cakes, three matching cakes. I have three of these matching cakes with one of these, I think. Um, I got one of these left I'm making I'm gonna make a bag out of this the respect yarn from lion brand I'm gonna make a bag or something out of that because that is just meant to be a bag and then I got a couple of mandalas still and I'm gonna rearrange this so we can get a good idea and I'm gonna take the scrap ball out and put it into my scraps over there I've been trying to use up I hate collecting scrap balls so if I have a little bit left I make um like the ear warmers I showed you guys and I need to cake this up but I'm gonna put this back in there because this will coordinate with these in case I need extra so I need to cake that up and put it back in get everything stacked in here nice and neat Do I have another yep I have another cake can you guys see in there yeah you can see in there 
I got four of these. I'm kind of thinking of putting this with that. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Let's see. This is the color zebra. It's a sparkly yarn. Let's see how many yards this is. I know that I'm passing it up. 97% acrylic, 3% metallic, 240 yards. Number four. This is also a number four. 204 yards. So I think that it doesn't necessarily go with it, but I think it that will give me more to make maybe another blanket or something. And then this is going to be a bag. This is a scrap, but it's enough scrap to make like a whole nother hat out of. So I'm, I don't know if I should put this in the scrap bin or if I should put it back on the shelf. I'll set that aside and see. I'm going to have the washcloth yarn that I need to use that I haven't used yet. Actually, I can put this in my... Uh, this way, guys. <laughs> I have a cabinet down here that has multiple packs, but it also has um, my cotton in here. I know you guys can't and record it because <laughs> that would be fantastic so I think I'm going to hold off on the washcloths and put those down here too because I have a lot of room down here yeah there's so much room in here I could probably fit the whole rest of that bucket in there but I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to hide any more yarn for myself and then I'm going to add the the plushy yarns to this bucket if I can find them and then if we look put that in there there's a slight avalanche happening behind there and put that in there and I know that I have one more I'll figure it out I'll stack that upright you guys see so, even with that in there, we got a hot pink scrap that needs to go in the scrap bin. Yeah, that hit, that is mega progress. That is mega progress. And I'm proud of myself because I told you guys I'm doing such a good job getting through the yarn. Um, I still have a lot, <laughs> but I don't feel overwhelmed by my yarn anymore. And I think that is a big deal is that I just don't feel overwhelmed anymore. Hang on. There was a bee outside. Lucas was freaking out. He's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I am currently still working with the spun colors. I will show you guys all of that on Monday. I made a matching hat for the cowl that I showed you guys yesterday. And I'm also making a knit hat so to show you guys. Because I know that I have knit things made out of it. But again, it's in the closet that we're not going to talk about right now. <laughs> that I know that I need to clean out once again. And I got comments on that video yesterday. Someone was like, I'm so bummed that I missed an opportunity to buy one of your makes. And I was like, yeah, I never sold any of the stuff that I said I was going to sell. It's all still in there. I've gotten rid of some of the stuff that was in there, but most of it's still in there. It's separated. Stuff that I planned on putting in the Etsy shop. Stuff that I planned on doing other things with. I just... Life gets in the way, you know, and I... Loading anything on Etsy is a royal pain. I've offered Juju money to do it for me, and she has said yes, but she's so busy loading her own stuff constantly because you have to photograph it, and you have to photograph it so that it looks nice, and then you have to put in all of this information. There's like 87 boxes you have to fill out information in, and it's just so tedious, and I hate it. I hate it. 
I wish there was an easier way to just auto load everything in there and just let you guys go to town, but it's so much work. I've been watching Creative Grandma and she's got her grandson, I think his name is Cody. He's helping her do her room and list stuff on eBay. And I feel bad for both of them because I know how much work is involved in that. And I cannot even imagine doing that right now. <laughs> I cannot even imagine. I just watch her video in awe and I'm watching the things in her room kind of like disappear. And I'm like, I know how much work is involved in that. And I like, you just want to go hug Cody for her because I think that's his name. If it's wrong, Glenda, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> um, you just want to go hug the kid because like, I can't, that's a lot of work. And he's helping his grandma out. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> so big props to Cody. Yeah, so, yeah. I feel good that we did that. I'm kind of glad you kept me company while we were doing this. Because I've been meaning to do this all week. And I've been putting it off and dreading it. Because i rearranging things. I, even though this only took me, what, 20 minutes? Half an hour maybe? Oh. Um, I was still really dreading it because everything else is going on this week with doctor's appointments and orthodontist appointments and um, school and work and <laughs> Mr. Cinnamon's been home half the week because he's doing training for work. So it's just been, it's been a heck of a week. Ugh, there we go. All right, we we are accomplished. Now I just need to clean off this this because <laughs> I moved some of the stuff was in the chair, Mr. Cinnamon's chair, and so I need to put that stuff away next. But I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch through any of that. Mr. Cinnamon was asking you guys in the Tuesday tea without cinnamon video um, for ideas for Christmas, and we we're talking about it again today. I think he's trying to plan ahead. Because he's not real good at planning ahead. He's like a last minute kind of guy. A lot of men are. I hate shopping on Christmas Eve specifically because of all the last minute men. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think he, for the first time in his life, is actually planning ahead of time. And I was like talking. I was like, okay. He's all, you only have like two things on your wish list on Amazon. Now my wish list on Amazon is not public. It's not ever going to be public. I make wish lists for my family members because they never know what to buy me. And even when I tell them, they forget. So I make very detailed lists. And I give them options to choose from, you know, so that I don't know ahead of time what I'm getting and all that stuff. So I was talking to him and I was like, okay, but like, I really would like another pencil box kit. And Mr. Sim was like, what is that? And I was like, it's like the kit from Michigan Fine Yarns. <laughs> I would really like another one of these. It has all these beautiful minis in it. And I was watching Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2. And she bought um, the Poets. Well, I don't remember what it's called. It's minis in a pickle jar. And I was drooling. And I was like, oh, and I started again on the internet and order myself one. Because like I've been wanting one of those pickle jars with the little minis in it forever. But here's the problem. <laughs> I don't ever cake them up. They just sit there. And so until I use these, or at least cake them up to use them, I don't want to buy myself more. But I was totally drooling. And so I told Mr. Sim, I would really love another one of these pencil kits for, they're expensive, but like it's a Christmas gift, you know, for Christmas. So I was telling him that. I was actually telling him that while we were in the doctor's office. This is, by the way, did I say this is... I always say that I always get corrected on how I say this. Okay, it's K L I G U. I have heard it pronounced. I physically heard it pronounced Quega, and I've heard it pronounced Koigu. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the yarn is beautiful. It's Canadian yarn. This look at this color. Look at that color. I am in love with these yarns. They I've I've never knit or crocheted any of them up because. They're so precious, like I'm afraid to use them. But I keep buying them because they're so beautiful and they're really decently priced. Like this, this is like, I think this was like $15. I'm pretty pop, $13.99. I think they're $14.99 right now though. Um, the color is what gets me. 
the way that they're dyed gets me like I just I like the way they feel like they're really textured <laughs> so I'm like totally obsessed so hopefully he actually listens and buys me Koyu which is what I really really want but I also have I have minis up here from Crystal at Ricola's Crochet Corner she sent me these a while ago and I haven't used them or caked them up yet and they're these beautiful bright colors you guys know that I love the beautiful bright colors they're actually in Frankenstein's mouth right now <laughs> Frankenstein's Frankenstein's been eating them um, yum, yum, yum. Um, yum, 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 yum. he's a yarn of war <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. I have that green peeking out a little bit. Those are like Frank colors. So, best yarn bowl ever, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I feel good. It looks better. The holes are filled. It's not double layered or jam packed. It's all very pretty still very happy all of my makes are out the things that I like to look at display like my little my mushroom that some people said it looks phallic <laughs> my little cherries one with green eyes one with blue the leaves curled they curled and then the stitch and the angel that was made for me because I'm not brave enough to try a character they are always on my shelf. And I know for a fact, I th I'm pot maybe I don't have more than one of these. I could have swear I had more than one of these. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so that's it. I'm going to shut up now because I'm running out of things to talk about. And while I love your company, I don't want to bore you by sitting here just Id idle. Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, except for the members, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> and the rest of you, I'll see you Monday because I do have some makes. Um, I have several things I want to show you guys. Some of which we're going to pretend we haven't already seen because, you know, it's still been made in the past seven days. And um, I'm going to figure out what we're having for dinner because I have... I made roast chicken last night and homemade gluten-free um, cornbread dressing and it was so good but there's so much left over. The little man barely ate last night because he had chips right before dinner. <laughs> Just whatever. And then um, I have a lot of chicken left over. I think I'm going to freeze the dressing it freezes really well. You, I just put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it in a bowl, put it in the freezer and then when I'm ready I put it in the refrigerator to kind of warm up a little bit from the freezer and then I pop it back in a, um, the oven and it is as good as it was the night I made it. It's really really easy. But I have a lot of chicken left over and I'm debating on either chicken tacos, chicken enchiladas, um, I could make chicken soup but Mr. Cinnamon hates soup for dinner. He feels like it's not a proper dinner. Um, what else could I make? I don't know. I have so many options of things I could make. Can't make anything too saucy or... I don't think Little Man will even eat enchiladas. He doesn't like enchiladas. He doesn't like anything that comes out of a casserole because it's all mushed together and it's just a texture and a, a sensory. He doesn't like it. <laughs> There's also leftover lasagna in there gluten-free of course. Aldi had some new gluten-free noodles that I had to try. Um, they, We usually buy Barilla gluten-free lasagna noodles but Aldi had um, noodles that are made out of um, lentils. I was like I want to try those and I had some Barilla left over and some of the, the um, lentil noodles and so I put them both in the lasagna and I like them both equally well. The Barilla have a little more chew to them, which Mr. Cinnamon likes more, but I don't. So either way, I got a good gluten-free lasagna option. So luckily I bought a couple boxes. That'll get us through. Because the one bad thing about Aldi is like, it'll be there today and then they won't have it again and you'll never see it. <laughs> 
So, all right, I'm gonna let you go and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.